Hi, hello, welcome back. So today we will be seeing about chapter 10 disease of respiratory system. Code series J00 hyphen J99 and U07.0. In this chapter, mainly we will be studying about all the condition which is completely related to respiratory system. So it's a kind request. Don't skip the video in between. Watch the video completely. So chapter 10 of ICD 10 CM is widely classified into acute respiratory infection J00 to J06, lower respiratory infection J40 to 47, pneumonia J12 to J18, asthma J45, COPD J44, other respiratory condition J60 to J70. U07.0 is for COVID-19. So COPD, for COPD and asthma, both chronic respiratory conditions differ significantly in their causes and symptoms. So COPD, COPD is a group of disease that cause air blockage and breathing related problems. The primary conditions under COPD include chronic bronchitis and emphysema. ICD-10 uh, codes for COPD J44.0, COPD with acute lower respiratory infection, J44.1, COPD with acute exacerbation, J44.9, COPD unspecified, J43.0, emphysema, um, century axina, J43.1, emphysema, J43.9, emphysema unspecified. Acute exacerbation of COPD and uh, CO, um, chronic obstructive bronchitis and asthma. J44 and J45 distinguish between uncomplicated cases, those in acute exacerbation. So what is acute exacerbation? It is a worsening of infection or a chronic condition that is called as exacerbation. So it will be triggered by the infection. Acute respiratory failure. So, when we code for acute respiratory failure, the code is J96.0 and uh, chronic respiratory failure is J96.2. So, this will be given as a primary diagnosis if it is a reason for encounter to the hospital. When acute respiratory failure will be coded as a secondary diagnosis. The patient is coming to the hospital with some other condition. For example, say myocardial infraction, cerebrovascular accident, aspirational pneumonia. So, the patient is coming for other condition. Along with that, the patient is also having respiratory failure. In this case, the encounter condition will be the primary diagnosis and uh, respiratory failure will be the secondary diagnosis. Influenza due to certain identified influenza virus. Influenza is commonly known as flu. Can be caused by various strains of influenza virus. In ICD-10, there are specific codes for influenza based on the identified virus strain. So, uh, key codes for influenza due to certain identified influenza virus. Influenza due to seasonal influenza virus which includes J09 and J10, J11. Influenza due to specific identified virus like uh, whenever we are coding for influenza virus no, we have to see whether it is identified or it belongs to other specified or unidentified virus. If the virus is identified you have to give J09 if it is uh, uh, belongs to other specified give J10 and ident unidentified give J11. Ventilator associated pneumonia. If the primary reason for encounter is ventilator associated pneumonia, the primary code will be J95.851 for ventilator associated pneumonia and second code should be for the organism B96.5. Here pneumonia uh, we no need to code. Ventilator associated pneumonia develops after admission. So the, here the patient is getting admitted in the hospital for some respiratory condition. After um, uh, respiratory condition and he is getting admitted in the ventilator and uh, after that it is developing into ventilator associated pneumonia. So first you code for uh, the reason for encounter respiratory condition and second code for ventilator associated pneumonia and third code for the organism. Vaping related disorder. Vaping related disorder are a new category of health issues which is linked to the use of electronic nicotine delivery system commonly known as uh, e-cigarettes or vapes. By using these uh, e-cigarettes it will cause damage to the uh, 
lungs that condition is called as vaping related disorder so we have to code u07.0 so that's all about chapter 10 icd 10 cm guideline if you have any doubts you can put it as a comment also thank you so much for watching if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe and if you find it useful please do share it with your friends please make a note of all the guidelines uh, and write in your notebook and keep so that it will be really helpful for you at the time of practicing for your cpc exam as well as for the interview thank you so much take care bye bye